All right, so we're continuing the story of Pluto, of what happened to Pluto, or at least what happened to its name. Of course, Pluto hasn't changed at all. It's just our understanding of what a planet is uh, was clearly defined. It, it didn't really have to be defined um, before Eris was discovered. Anyhow, uh, the very the last uh, thing, uh, step three here, or condition three, I guess I should say, um, the clearing out of its of its orbit of the, the you know the object if it's going to be a planet it has to clear it out um you know basically gravitationally attract all the object in all the objects within its its path around the sun and of course that has not hap that doesn't happen with pluto therefore it's not considered a planet uh anymore it's 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 uh, considered a uh, a kuiper belt object uh, the, the largest of the kuiper belt objects um, now we're going to talk about some of the some of the de debris um, that is within the solar system. Um, for, first, uh, meteoroids. Um, there can be many, many different types of meteoroids. Um, th this is what they call the you know meteors, okay, uh, or can can be meteors. Um, a meteor. Um, uh, well, let, let me define everything first. Meteoroids are any small, relatively small object that is. Uh, you know, floating around in within the solar system. All right, a meteor is something that actually uh, that this this floating this object um, will actually hits the Earth's atmosphere, and when it when it hits hits the Earth's atmosphere, um, this the, they these things heat up, and and you know traditionally people call these shooting stars. This has nothing whatsoever to do with stars. All right, I want everybody to understand that. Um, it's just th these small um, objects, usually on average um, dust dust size objects. So you know, very very small, um, you know, less than a gram of material on average. Um, sometimes much much bigger objects, but uh, you know, th these things hit the Earth. They the, the Earth's atmosphere they bur generally burn up in the in the um, in the atmosphere just due to friction due to heat, but between the object and and the Earth's atmosphere. Now sometimes these objects um, are large enough, uh, either made of, um, of of very relatively dense rocky material or even metallic material, and will reach the Earth. Okay, so. All right, so so uh, you know, for, for, as as I mentioned already, uh, comets leave uh, the, these meteoroids. You know, just just little little bits of dust as they orbit the. You know, they they uh, undergo their orbit and they pa pass by the sun and and you know leave leave this dust material. Um, asteroids do this as well, uh, and you know, n not not melting um, or not. Uh, Sublimating, I guess it should say, um, not, not the, the asteroids. Anyhow, uh, all right. So, so, so this this material uh, is you know somehow it ends up uh, you know crossing sometimes crossing the Earth's path, and the Earth runs into this material. All right, and when that happens, um, you, and you look up and you see what's called a shooting star, um, that's just a meteor. Uh, you know, a, a meteor. Um, th there are actually times of the year when the Earth passes through large amounts of this debris, um, and that's called a meteor shower. And and you know it happens so often and and with with such frequency that some of these get get actually get named. Um, let's see. So uh, probably the most famous one is called the Perseids. Probably, um, well, c just because there's a there's a good number of these per per uh, hour. And so it doesn't really doesn't take very long to to uh, observe this. The, and and the Perseids, of course, in the northern hemisphere happen, um, you know, towards the end of summer. So it's a nice time to be outside. Um, the the other one that's pr pr pretty popular is this one called the Leonid meteor shower. It happens every year right around uh, November sixteenth. Um, but actually, to observe meteor showers on a, on a given night, um, you know, in any of these dates. Um, will, will suffice. Um, what you want to do is, you, if if you were to out, go outside and take take a look at one of these meteor showers, um, you want to actually be observing after midnight. Um, and and the the reason for that is 
that um, when, when the when the object when the objects uh, hit the hit the Earth's atmosphere, um, uh, it, it's just it's easier to observe when when you know a after midnight the the Earth um, is is pointed. Um, uh, basically at 180 degrees with respect to the sun so so you're 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 going to see more of these on average after midnight than before midnight i mean you can still see them before midnight but um, <clears throat> anyhow uh so th some of these are associated with certain certain um comets that we you know that we know of um some of them are not all right so um there's an impact on the Earth, for example. I think this one is in Canada, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but of course, you know, uh, craters on the Earth will will erode over time because the Earth has weather, it has geology, and uh, you know the, these things. Unlike the Moon, right? The Moon, when something hits the Moon, uh, when one of these meteoroids, meteoroids or meteors, I guess I should say, it actually hits the hits the Moon, it leaves a crater and it stays. All right. Um, so uh, here, here's some examples of some medi uh, some uh, meteoroids or you know meteors that have, have been recovered. Um, you know sometimes we find these things um, in 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 uh, in Iceland, in Greenland, um, in the uh, you know at the poles or close to the poles. Uh, sometimes in the deserts. So. Um, and, and the, the rocks generally don't look like earth rock. I mean, you know, people, geologists, for example, can always tell the difference between these objects and, and earth rocks. Um, all right, so there, there's some examples of um, a rocky meteorite and, um, and a, uh, a more metallic one. Um, th this actually, there there are people, believe it or not, who go around and and search for these. The I, I, the metallic ones generally are worth more money, um, but uh, you know it's 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 somewhat hard to do this. But uh, th th there there really are people who go out there and and look for these things. All right, so that's the end of uh, chapter fourteen, and uh, I am going to sign off with these videos.